So hey, this is a quick video tutorial on how to make a, uh, a nice kind of trancey dance um, synth lead, whatever. <laughs> It's, it's stereotypical. Um, another kind of uh, toolbox, toolkit sound, um, but good to have. So first we're going to open up the ES2 synthesizer. Um, and this is actually a preset of one of them that's already pre-made. So we're going to go to synth leads and down to trance lead or lead, however you want to say it. I don't know. Um, the only difference is we're going to stick this one up 12 steps. Oh. And then the voices is going to go up to 32, and that should be it for that. Then next we're going to stick in a sample delay, uh, and we're going to delay the left side by about 300 milliseconds or whatever units these are, um, to kind of give it that wider sound artificially. Then we're going to stick in a stereo delay, because they're awesome, put them down to about 15 or 13 or somewhere in there percentage. Um, that is should be it with that. Then we're going to move over to a reverb unit, the Space Designer Reverb. We're going to stick in the same one I always use, the Ethereal Piece re preset. Um, cut it down to about mm, negative 15 decibels, somewhere in there. Uh, and then lastly, but not least, it's very important, we're going to stick in a fat EQ. And we're going to cut out the mid a little bit and accentuate the high a little bit. So we kind of got this nice like S curve here. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, so it's, you know, might want to get a little bit. Some of the parameters may not be exactly on the mark, um, but it's close though. Uh, actually, hold on one second. I want to check one thing. Yeah. I was afraid of this. Okay, we're going to want to move the, the uh, center piece up here till uh, 24, 44, 30. So 24% from 1, 44% from 2, and 30% from 3-ish. Yeah, that gives you much more of the sound that we're looking for. Um, sorry that I forgot to mention that earlier. But uh, there you go, that's, that's the way to make this sound. Um, unfortunately, it's only monophonic, which depending on what you want to do with it, could be very good. Um, most leads are monophonic, but if you want to do chords or something, that is a whole different matter and actually one that I've established myself or fought against because I wanted to make a, monof or a polyphonic version of this. So I have actually a tutorial already online on how to change it to a polyphonic sound. The only difference is it's a little quieter, um, just because I had to sample it and everything, so we put that up. Um, yes, yeah, so it's just a little quieter, uh, but it's basically the same thing. Um, essentially what I did is I went with uh, the, the original and just recorded it and then cut out the individual notes put them into a sampler and then put some more effects behind it um, and it sounds very similar I think I feel just quieter um, so there you go if you wanna find out how to make it a polyphonic just look at one of my other past tutorials that I have already posted on my uh, my profile get that a check and I hope you enjoy this